So I became one as well. <laughs> and you're one of my idols. I've always watched you from years ago when I started slalom because um, I'm not a junior paddler anymore. I'm like growing up through slalom. Um, I wanted to know like throughout your career, you've had some amazing wins and successes and incredible journey, but you've had some failures. And how do you cope with not racing how you expected? For me, each failure or each race which didn't end up as I wanted it to end up or was, uh, I was so disappointed. It took maybe a week, yeah. sometimes even longer when I missed my qualification for um, Olympics in Beijing. It was so bad, like the next months were so tough for me. And with my coach, we always try to, to analyze the whole performance to find why, yeah. why I did a failure. So you have a, like a structure after races where you figure out exactly what you need to take from it or? It's pretty important to look back at the race, to do the video analysis after maybe one month, two months later. Because okay. right after the race, there are so many, like we are angry and there yeah. are so many things which influence your analysis. Yeah. Okay, that makes total sense, like analysis without the emotion, so you yes. can carry it yes. through the rest of the season. Yeah. Um, another thing I want to ask, but I know that loads of my friends and my colleagues want to ask as well, is um, when you decided to have a baby, yeah. how easy was it to start the conversation around sports and having a child at the same time. Like, it feels like an inaccessible thing to women at the moment. Uh, you know, I finished fourth in Rio. Yeah. And if I had a medal in Rio, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Yeah. I would be completely satisfied with my career yeah. and I would be somewhere else. Yeah. But this fourth place was a huge motivation for me to come back. But at the same time, I knew that it's time for a baby because yeah. I'm getting older and older. <laughs> and I don't want to miss yeah. this. So we decided, okay, we will have the baby and then I will try to get back yeah. and qualify for Tokyo. And it's, like, it's terribly hard, I must say, uh, compete with those young girls who are 24 hours per day focused yeah. on their performance yeah. uh, and having so much things to do with the baby and traveling with the baby, it's, oh. it's pretty hard stuff, but uh, thanks to Robbie and all my family helping me yeah. with this, uh, I hope I will be able to do this. Yeah, and you've made such an amazing comeback already. Mm. It's so cool to see, especially for all the girls in every team, which is kind of like, you can have it. You can have a life after a child. Like, it's not just ending your career at this one place. Like, we have seen Amazing example with Maya and Shuro. Yeah. I know it was not easy, but she did it. So and then it's one absolutely, goal. it's <laughs> possible. <laughs> Thank you for being so like yeah. candid with your answers. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks. And good luck. Oh, cheers. <laughs>